Happy Tony, I'll have you me. know that uh, Game Three of the World Series is now in the books. The Dodgers have beaten the Yankees four to two. Oh, there you go. So, don't think it's going to be a sweep, but it's going to be very tough for the Yankees to come back now. I mean, they would they would have to win two at home. Well, they have to sweep the Dodgers the rest of the way to win the World Series. All right, let's go back to the studios, and Gorilla Monsoon is there by himself. Because Bobby Heenan walked off the set. Do you think Gorilla Monsoon would have would have been a? Uh, oh my God! Now we go from the fake brother love to the real brother love. Oh, how do you think Bruce did as the brother love character? I thought he was great. He was one of the more obnoxious guys around, wasn't he? I love you. He's just obnoxious, right? Could that character have worked in WCW? Do you think? I we would given it a shot, sure. Yeah, I think it would have. It would have worked in ECW for sure. Yeah, you know us being, quote unquote, from the South. And oh, Amy, Amy Vaughn's going to bed. She oh. said good night to all of us. Well, good night, Amy. Good night, John Boy. Good night. Good night, Amy. Uh, I hope you're sober, sweetie. Unlike John Hamilton, unlike John Hamilton, yeah, the wind, yeah. Uh, John Hamilton wants to know how big your dog is, sweetie. Yeah, that's right. John's drunk. Uh, who's got the bigger one? You're the dog. You're the family dog. Okay. Night, night, John Hamilton. Go what to bed. Well, look at this cast of characters. This is like a series of action figures come to life. The Bushwhackers, Jimmy Super Velocinuka, and Roddy Piper. I, I mean, I can't even imagine trying to explain this to someone. I mean, if you're not from America and you just turn on TV and you see this, how would you explain what we're seeing? I, there's, there's no way. These are athletes. This is a sporting event with a guy painted with his red face and a guy from obviously the Fiji Islands and these dummies walking around and a guy with a kilt. It's crazy to think too that. Jimmy Snuka for a long time was the top attraction there for Vince. Yeah. And then of course Hogan comes along and Snuka's still probably number two, Yeah, but he's got to have a foil. He's got to have a top bad guy. And there he is Roddy Piper and there they are. So over and as silly as it is, this hardcore blood and guts tag team becomes these lovable, laughable comedy characters. And as a kid, I was never into the bushwhackers and always kind of found them. I don't know. They just weren't me at all. And I couldn't imagine anybody being a big fan, but as yeah. I talked to my buddy, Cassio kid, they were his favorite tag team as a kid. It blew oh, me yeah. away. And you know, let's give it to, I'm sure Vince and maybe Pat was involved in it. I don't know. Uh, taking, uh, the sheep herders and making them these lovable characters because I don't know. I, I haven't heard any, uh, any, uh, interviews from Luke. I know Butch has passed away. Uh, I, I, talked to Luke, uh, very briefly at, um, and maybe the last star cast I went to, I'm not so sure. No, I tell you where I talked to him. I talked to him at, uh, in Philadelphia at, uh, WrestleCade or WrestleCon. I talked to him there. Uh, I don't know if those were their greatest days or not. It probably were. Don't you think pay, pay uh, payoff wise? Yeah. Anyways, probably their, their best days ever. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, and it was, I and mean, everybody made more money here, right? Yeah, sure. And. Just, just every, I, I like that Snooker's trying to be very serious here. How can you be very serious with these guys doing what they're doing now? They just look at the eyes of Snooker. Oh, wow. Tarzan. I mean, with the loincloth, he yeah. looks like, you know, the, the comic book Tarzan. Yes. He then does. you got Roddy Piper with the crazy colorful shirt, uh -huh. with the kilt. And then these camouflage hats that have been chewed up. I mean, what a yeah. visual this is. This is so it's, it's easy to understand. You know, you don't have to, it, we're hitting you head over the head with it. We don't have to have mastered the art of nuance here to be in the loop on WWF programming. They're tearing the shirt off of Piper by their teeth, by the way. I love it. I love it. And you would have done that to Tom Zink. We know that. And, and now they're leaving Piper. <laughs> How do you keep a straight face with this? I would have freaking died, man. Just, you know, they were all trying to pop each other. Oh yeah, of course. And bro brother love doing, he's doing a good job here without laughing. 
I love they used to close it in like that. It felt like the end of a chapter of a movie or something. Yeah. Hey, speaking of a movie, you know, we just saw a lot of a uh, big sweaty man there and it does feel like we should remind everybody that, Hey, if your balls stink, maybe you need to give Mando a try. I personally love Mando and I know you will too. It's good for your whole body. It's whole body deodorant, meaning it's safe to use anywhere on your body, your pits, your balls, your thigh folds, your belly buttons, your butt cracks, your feet. It was created by a doctor who saw firsthand how normal BO was just being misdiagnosed and mistreated. It's been clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. Mando deodorant products are amazing. Even the solid stick deodorant. It's formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it even starts. And now they've got a brand new spray deodorant. It's aluminum free and ideal for those hard to reach places. All the products are baking soda free and paraben free. And you can choose from a variety of fresh scents, things like bourbon leather, clover woods, Mount Fuji, or even pro sport. It's been clinically proven to control odor more than just a shower with soap alone. You see, 12 hours after a shower, the average man's grundle odor is a 5 out of 10. But with Mando, the average grundle odor level is a 0 out of 10. That's what you're looking for. 0 out of 10 on the grundle stain. Mando starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like the mini body wash and the deodorant wipes, and even free shipping. And as a special offer for our listeners, new customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That's like 40% off your starter pack when you use the code WHW at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. Smell fresher, stay drier, and boost your confidence from head to toe with Mando. And Tony, this is the real deal. Mando is, I mean, I just want you to demonstrate to everybody. I know you use your Mando every day. Uh-huh. If you don't mind if you could take, you know, your pointer finger and your middle finger and stick them between your asshole and your scrotum, and then just give us a big whiff and just tell us, tell us how we're doing. Let's go back to the ring where hang on, hang on. Hang on. I've promised the sponsor that, that we're going to do that on the show. So I'm going to need you to take these two fingers. Stick them between your asshole and your scrotum. So the taint area, and then I want you to just marry Catherine Gallagher. I'm right here, superstar. By by the way, I taint going to do it, all right? And Well, no, we promised that we're going to get it done. Well, I do have one finger left for you, Conrad. Meanwhile, as you're talking about Mando, uh, Brother Love uh, came into the set and was knocked out by Roddy Piper. Yeah, you're trying to distract us. I gotta finish yeah, the read. Okay, just okay. stick your fingers up your ass. I ain't sticking stuff. my fingers up my ass. You somebody's got to do it. Somebody's no, got to do not. it. But no, I'm not. Go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, big gonna, boy. I'm gonna phone a friend, Silva. Uh, trick or treat. Thank you for joining us here. Make sure you're not muted, and uh, then we want to go ahead and and I need you to. Fulfill the obligation here to Mando. So take your finger, your pointer finger, and your middle finger. Jesus, what a stick between your asshole okay. and All your right. scrotum. We'll call All it the taint. Okay. And then I want you to just give us a good smell. Okay. That's how we're doing. All right. I'm not watching. As you're doing this, Silva, when was the last time you used Mando? Was it about 72 hours ago? Uh-huh. Okay. That's C, I believe. C. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's he's, he's licking his fingers, Tony. I'm gonna say it's what bourbon. No, no. Hold on. Is that bourbon leather? No, hold on. (laughs) Cloverwood. Okay, there it is. Check it out. Thank you, Dave. See you. Mando.com. All right, Uh, man. We go the extra mile for our sponsors here uh, on the program. 